everybody, it's all about play next, bring everything that is awesome in gaming. So this is Moonlighter, we've read all about it. Apparently you get to play a shopkeeper. You're cheating on yourself by going out at night and going adventuring as your second job. Ooh, gamepad recommended, but keyboard is also cool. It seemed like it had a lot of personality, so we wanted to check it out. And it kept cropping up, you know, it was one of those games that like follows you. So, that's it. No, we want to see what it's like to be a venture by night, normal game slot. Um, let's make this chip look good. So we like to go out into the indie dev community and just find stuff like this where it's something, it's bringing something to the table. Among the stars of the night, there's a land as old as imagination. This is that land. One night, mazes full of extraordinary treasures and deadly creatures appeared in this land. They called them the dungeons, strange, ever-changing ruins of unknown lands, so the dungeons are lands themselves. Soon a village of the slightly curious took root near the dungeons. This they named Ragnoka. Among the settlers, two groups shine the brightest, the heroes and the merchants, glory and riches. So it's like a rivalry. The dungeons proved too dangerous, and were soon closed as too many lives were lost in their depths. Life became hard for the town, especially for the young older owner of the oldest shop. Will it move later? Long dreaming of opening the mysterious fifth door of the dungeons. Dun dun dun. Off we go. That or where it started out in the shop. I mean it could be like a less Zelda more. Look how cute I am! They did small great. I don't usually top down, but this looks good. Exclamation point indeed, sir. Break things. Doing it up. They're already on our night job. Says, you know, you worked hard this week. Go, go forth and destroy. Demolish. What do I want to do? Left trigger. Oh, I'm rolling. Okay. Says we were supposed to learn. You know, and I was busy being a rebel. So you gotta take time out of your life for important things. Left trigger. I roll across crevasses, obviously. That is what they are for us to be rolled across. I die in every game. It's okay. We live to do this. Alright. Left trigger is to roll. What else do, can I do? A. X. What are my other options here? A. Senior, I need to be armed better. Love, but um, why? There's nothing in there. Can I roll around him? <laughs> I'm so confused. Oh, there we go. You can. Look at me go. I missed a table. No one cares. <laughs> so this is a little bit arcade, which is fine. That's, I'm gonna keep going. Just lose, lose experience. Drop a level. Be level negative one. Proud of it. Oh, okay. So we're just basically ducking and bobbing and weaving with a large. Okay, I can't break these. Now what? A. Now you let me do stuff. Who are you, sir? Yeah, I'll get you with my girl. Oh no! Not on my watch. I'm gonna live. I'm gonna do more than live. I'm gonna beat. There we go. Oh, I have to use the potion. That's nice. Doesn't just, there's no auto heal. I have loot now. It's in there. Nothing. Nothing for you. Sir. Nothing for you. Uh, I like the fact that they use a pole arm off the drop, you know, um, as silly as it may be. The distance kind of makes more sense than it does with, like, they have those huge um, swords and whatnot that they start you off with. Um, do I want to equip any of this? What is this? It looks like an ingot. What's this? A water lamp. Um, so we'll use the second one here. Put it in our quick bar. What looks like our quick bar. Most of this is white stone, hardened steel, anything behind my head. Oh, there's a lot of it. Hold on, how do I pick up more than one? There we go. 
I figured it was one of those intuitive interfaces because you're playing something simple like a shop keep. So we'll do the odds. Right trigger. Not for sale. Oh, I could sell to my. I could put things for sale. Makes sense. So I'm gathering. This is. I am like a man gatherer. You know? Short jab, long thrust. Got it. Gotta go get stuff for the peoples, you know? Good peoples of the village. No, sir. What? What is this? Rich jelly? I don't understand. <laughs> oh, okay, it wraps around. Well, we'll just make use of that, whether or not they meant for me to do so. What is this? A sword haft. Got it. You need hafts of swords. Projectiles! Oh! It just got real. I can't hit him while he's down. Wow. The melee just got ugly. Oh, they're flinging things. What is this? Can I get out? It's not. More monsters will appear. I want to skip through um, to where I go back to my shop and I drop all my stuff and I die. Was I meant to fail? I feel like I was. It seems like one of those self-fulfilling prophecies where I kind of go off that path. There's the wise old man, yeah. What a sorry looking kid. All alone now. Rest for a bit, Bill. I have you now. Link in the description below if you do want to play along. Also, on there is Gamer Grind. Gamer Coffee shipped to your door. They'll put your logo on merch for like nothing bucks. For the Pirate Queen, we put it on stickers so you can Google and market us. Send people to the channel. KOFI, buy this chick of coffee one dollar, make me smell. Or you can support us on Patreon um, as a monthly subscription. We find everything is awesome, and of course, we support the Indie Dev community. Even as a mere child, barely able to walk, you were curious about the dungeons. Interesting. So I had everything mapped out, but. You know, that doesn't mean that I'm an adventurer. There's no doubt you carry the same obsession to compete. Morning, boy. Did our little merchant bite off more than he could manage? It's an interesting use of turn of phrase. But listen to me. The hard truth is this. You're the last of your family, the only one left to run Moonlighter. You can't keep pushing yourself like this. Risking your life on the fifth door that nonsense is foolish, just leave it. Find some artifacts to use your pen to get out of the dungeon. For creator's sake, stop using that broom of yours, yeah, boy. It's dangerous to go along, take this. It's mine from back in the day, use it. I have little need for it now. No. Oh. So I have a sword and shield now? Now then, get up. You're wasting light. Can't have you neglect the shop all day. Let's see if I can get through your head. Hard had some tricks that I picked up from your grandfather so many, many years ago. Okay. Like on running my shop, or <laughs> I don't know what he's trying to get at here. I am apparently meant to follow him. Sell. Oh, I have nothing to sell. Successfully selling a merchandise takes knowledge of two things. You must know the item's value as well as demand. Open up the shop and allow the customers on. Interesting. Hold it open shop. Wow, so I really do just turn into a merchant. This is crazy. Hello, friend. Dot, dot, dot. Ooh, you're cute. What's your name? Did you see that? Best expression you can hope for. So the buying one? The item wasn't too expensive for them. Not so cheap for you. Profit. Be sure to pay attention to your customers' expressions. Your grandfather always knew these prices were right there. Alright. Now exactly the same item for way more. Dot dot dot. Oh sad. I don't think I need to tell you how to the item is the same price. Lesson learned? Finally, be careful about selling a popular item too much. Float the market, you'll have to offer cheaper prices on the fairs. Point is, charge higher when something is in high demand and low and lower in low demand. Take out your merchant notebook. It should hold all the information you've gathered and discovered where it's part of the X. So I have a merchant notebook now. Cool. 
cool. Here are the energy surging through the bomb crystal. I just want to description behind the six colors. Interesting. So. Crystallized energy. We've seen this on its own for the day. Let's head off. We'll pick up more on your own. Restoring the shop to its full glory, the responsi responsibility falls on you, not I. Then your blood will make us proud. In the meantime, why don't you try up that new suit of yours? Dungeons are more perilous at night. One can always find better artifacts. Just don't dive too far. Use that pendant, boy. Cool! So then I go back off to the dungeon and I gather more loot to sell. So it's really cute, especially if you want like a twist on, you know, Stardew Valley, move over, we're an adventure instead. Um, you don't have a whole lot of expression from the villagers, um, but you do have a nice setup. You know, Masa and I saw when I find you. You see Masa around. Looks like you have little side quests or things that you can explore and so on. Um, might be a place to post notices. We're hearing a rumor about dungeons, artifacts, or zero And it's got, you know, a cute little theme and everything going on. So we love it. Link in the description below. Like I said, I'll see you on there. Game around for AOL 5. Definitely smash subscribe though and hit the um, bell because it'll pop up a little thumbnail. If this is the sort of thing you're interested in, you could click through. You could spend a little time with us and find an awesome game. So we love you guys. We love that you're as long as the ride. And we'll see you in the next video.